Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. We've got a ton going on here at Spirit Blade Productions and Christian Geek Central, including our in-depth Bible study for geeks, movie, game, and other entertainment reviews or commentary, live streams, Christian geek news, original audio dramas, and tons more. And on top of all that, you can become a Spirit Blade insider with an influential voice and get access to exclusive content and rewards. It's your involvement as a patron that will keep all of this going and growing, so I want to thank you for your consideration in that. For more information, please check out our Patreon page through the link below at patreon.com slash spiritbladeproductions. Thanks for listening. Uh, Francisco Ruiz says, you can go prone and duck under the bullets with B, I think. Well, it's a little late now, Francisco. <laughs> My kids say, you can do it. <laughs> Oh, good. I'm glad you enjoy that, Joel. <laughs> I'm thinking that's right up your alley, Joel. I think you and your brothers had a number of those kinds of uh, two-player cooperative simultaneous games. I always remember Life Force. That was the coolest game I thought that you had was Life Force. <clears throat> <laughs> Asher says, how dare you offend my son Asher in the next room. Says, how dare you offend one of my favorite games. That must have been Mario that I was talking about. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> yeah, my boys do like Mario games, and it's my fault. It's my fault, because that was, I think out of some... <clears throat> misguided sense of nostalgia or sense of history and wanting them to have like the experiences that they should have to to acquaint themselves with the history of gaming. I don't know what I was thinking, but like among the first games I exposed them to was Super Mario Brothers on the NES and just NES games. I think in part maybe also because they're simple. They don't require in terms of simple in terms of the controls. Um, simple to beat, no but simple to sit down and play compared to a game where you're controlling the camera and, or an RPG with a bunch of stuff going on in it, you know. Mario games are pretty simple in terms of how you play them. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, and so it's my fault that that was kind of their first exposure and they just glommed onto it. And now uh, Asher's big into Nintendo. Um, but I hope to introduce them more and more to other options, because I think there's so many cool options out there, Asher. So many great games that Nintendo does not make. Anyway, but I'm thrilled that you enjoy the games that you enjoy. Someone needs to, because I am sure not going to enjoy Mario games. But more on that in a little bit. This is Final Fantasy III. Again, um, from uh, Mark Pennington's donation. So thank you very much, Mark. Mark is my gaming buddy, uh, We've been playing games, tabletop games together. Hero Quest, starting out with Hero Quest. So, Mark, I don't know if you saw my shirt, uh, or if you're even watching this at the moment, but uh, uh, this is my new shirt. Um, celebrating, uh, you can't even really see it with my, uh, I gotta kinda do this a little bit, because my camera angle is not the best to see my shirt. But, actually, do I wanna adjust that camera angle a little bit at all? No, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Um, anyway. So this is, uh, I had to kind of reacquaint myself with where I would left off in this game, um, where my game save left off, and I am, this is the post-World of Ruin um, part of the game. Uh, the game has this awesome midway point where it feels like it's the end of the game in some ways, and this, it, this catastrophic event happens that completely changes the whole world. <clears throat> you, your heroes basically lose. 
And so the second half of the game is them picking up the pieces after losing. It's basically, you know, well... Uh, it's like a Marvel movie that most of you have seen, you know, and then the movie that followed it. I'm trying not to spoil things for those who maybe haven't yet, but you know, you know the movie I'm talking about. <clears throat> and, uh, and so it's really cool. And, and so that now I'm, I'm maybe like five hours into that post, uh, uh, post midpoint and I'm kind of recollecting party members. And I think this is the cave where I'm supposed to be able to recollect Shadow, the ninja character that's kind of a fan favorite. Um, because I did stick, I did, I did let, uh, wait for him when in the collapsing island, so he should be alive still somewhere in here. Oh, that's an open treasure chest. Have I been in here already? We three recently went hunting on the veldt. We saw some weird kid there dressed all in hides. Well, I, I found him. Uh, let's see here. Let's use fire two and the chainsaw. Actually, I don't like the chainsaw. It's not as reliable. You can kind of miss with that more than I would like. I like the drill. <clears throat> oh, okay, there's an unopened chest. So I was worried that I'd explored this cave or something already. Toe cutter. I wonder why they're called toe cutters. Let's do. <clears throat> uh, bolt two, and let's target all of them. And yeah, let's use her morph form. If they even live that long, they probably won't. Man, I can't remember which one of these sword techs are which. I guess I'll just try this one. Uh, let's do the uh, bio blaster. Oh, he missed. Okay. Uh, let's do Ice 2. Oh, man. Okay, so Ice helps them. Pro tip. Okay, good. Uh, let's do the Auto Crossbow. I think fire was working best before. I should probably just stick to that. Nice. The heck, why am I not... How come I can't get over there? Why is my... I'm trying to go left! Oh, there we go. <clears throat> uh, let's see, fire, right? What other spells do I have here? Break, doom. Let's try doom on this guy. And what do you got, drain? Let's try drain. I just want to rem remind myself what some of these things look like. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think I used the Noise Blaster very much. I don't think it really was very effective. Um, let's try Break. I think that's an insta-kill that misses a lot. Um, what else we got here? I wonder, I probably can't imp that guy. Alright, we'll just stick to the uh, traditional one. Oh crap, no, let's do a summon. Shiva, baby. Does he have a summon? No, no summon. Okay, we'll stick to tools then. Cool. Oh crap, not cool, because ice, ice heals them. Dang it. There we go. 
Joel Nelson says, Life Force is my second favorite game for NES. Bad Dudes is my all-time favorite video game. I used to have that one. Um, yeah, it was a bit like a side-scrolling beat-em-up, except on NES you couldn't play two players simultaneously, which seemed like a missed opportunity. <clears throat> Rugged Warrior asks, what's the most difficult game you've beaten? Hmm. Um... Hmm. Well, when you say difficult, I'm not sure exactly... I, I, it's a relative term, I suppose. Maybe you mean what felt the most difficult to me. Um... And then there's also the question of what type of difficulty are you talking about? Oh, Monster in a Box. Because I've probably played some games that... Oh, let's, let's do life on this guy. I'll bet life, because he's undead. Let's try that. Oh, do I not have a life spell? How about a cure spell? Let's try a cure three. Oh, no, cure two. I don't want to use that much MP. See what that does. Nice. Nice. Very good. Oh, crap. That is not good. Um... Oh, he's weak against ice now. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Did he do that to me? No, no, no. I think I did that to him. So let's use ice on him. Nice. Oh, crap. There she goes. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's use the drill. Alright. <clears throat> um, most difficult game... <clears throat> it's probably an RPG. Um, Final Fantasy Tactics is probably up there. Um, gosh. Maybe, you know, maybe one of the early Assassin's Creed games. Um, there's a few games that I started playing that are action games. I, I, for years I didn't play action games until uh, they started really creating some difficulty levels to make them more accessible. And Ubisoft in particular, um, Far Cry games, Assassin's Creed games would employ some difficulty options. Well... Actually, maybe there weren't difficulty options in those early ones. I can't remember now. But there was, like, I think the end of Assassin's Creed 1 had a difficult boss fight that I just did a lot of research on. Um, this is a hard question for me to answer because I generally do not take on difficult games, period. Um, and if I do take them on, I really try to research the crap out of a difficulty thing that, that I know is coming up so that I only have to do it once because I hate repeating material that's very discouraging and frustrating to me um, so you might have stumped me but it's probably it's probably some Ubisoft game it's probably one of the Far Cry games or one of the uh, maybe Far Cry 2 um, or one the first Assassin's Creed game maybe and those are not considered I don't think difficult games um, Especially not if there were difficulty options and I play them on the easiest difficulty mode. So, you got me. That's a hard thing to think of. Oh, crap. <laughs> I didn't revive her. All right, well, let's get serious here. <clears throat> um, concentrate fire here, people. You gotta take this dude out. Nice. Oh, I missed something. Hang on a second. In the chat here. Something that was directed at me. <clears throat> oh. Just Francisco telling me, getting after me for insulting Minecraft <laughs> and saying I should play Super Mario as a punishment. It's coming up in less than five minutes. Be patient. Um... <laughs> 
Um, okay, let's see. Oh, hey, Melissa. And uh, Francisco Ruiz says, uh, hi there, Chad. And Melissa Pater will, uh, Christian Gisander will probably say hi soon. Yeah, just for those who haven't heard me say it before, if you would like to... Um, more reliably get my attention, just put um, at Christian Geek Central without any spaces somewhere in the text of your message and that gets highlighted as orange so my peripheral picks it up more easily. Otherwise, it's, I, I do have trouble following all of the chat. Um, but uh, I would love to connect with you anytime you want to um, do that to get my attention. Oh, I forgot to revive her again. This is, um, for, for a long time, I would have said this is my favorite JRPG of all time. Um, or, or I would have at least said it's my favorite Final Fantasy game of all time. I don't think I would say that now. Um, um, oh, does she not know life yet? Does one of these guys know life? Oh, there. He does. Good. How are we all doing? A little better now. I think now, the Final Fantasy games, I would say that... the story and the overall experience would probably go to Final Fantasy IX, and the gameplay would go to Final Fantasy XII, even though it's a very different type of gameplay, and norm and, and in every other case, when they have taken a risk and changed up the, the gameplay in Final Fantasy, I have disliked the changes. I disliked the active time battle system. Um, but uh, that one, they just made a change that I, I really grew to love that combat because it was like that real time with pause type of combat that I discovered I enjoy so much with games like Baldur's Gate and more recently um, Pillars of Eternity, Pathfinder Kingmaker which I'll probably get into um, in the next few hours at some point but this was such a huge game for me <clears throat> when it came out. It was the first game that I bought new I think, in my life. I bought a, a used Super NES, um, and I hadn't played Final Fantasy II yet. I went straight from playing the original Final Fantasy on NES to playing this game on Super Nintendo. So you can imagine just what a quantum leap that was going from one to, to the other. And so I think that's part of the reason that all the more it made a huge impression on me. Just the sense of drama they were able to bring to this game was really, really something. Alright, I'm not being systematic in my dungeon exploration like I usually am. It's, it's all this me trying to talk at the same time. <laughs> uh, yeah, fire two. Uh, let's see. Holly Francis says, Okay, play Minecraft. You are missing out on one of the most popular games in the world. I think that is not Holly typing that. I think that is Asher or Titus <laughs> typing that. <laughs> so, uh, maybe I should get <laughs> Holly's attention. <laughs> um, I played a little bit of Minecraft. Played a little bit, enough to know that it's not my kind of game, unfortunately. Um, what I like more than Minecraft is some clones that have better graphics, like Dragon Quest Builders, which isn't as deep, near as deep as Minecraft. I totally get that. Um, but visually, I like it a lot more. <clears throat> Uh, let's see here. Oh, okay, we gotta wrap this up then. Nice, perfect timing. So I didn't get Shadow. I was hoping I would find him. Could I even be getting close? I think I'm retreading. I think I've been here already. Haven't I been here already? Huh. 
Huh. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm going to find him this time. Um, so I will save state, because I want to come back to this. Uh... But yeah, great game. Great game. Um... Let's see here. Uh, I just got distracted by a thought that I, I need to share with my wife, but uh, uh, I don't want the boys to hear. Anyway, <laughs> I'll do that another time. Um, okay, um, so, oh yeah, Fr freaking Super Mario Brothers. So yeah, the, um, the, the the highest tier of my milestones was if I reached 500, I was going to commit, I am committing now because it's been reached, to beating Super Mario Brothers for the NES by the end of 2020 without using cheat codes. And I said that I would make up my first attempt during this live stream, and so I'm going to do that presently. <clears throat> Okay, yeah, Asher says, yeah, it was me, but she knows and lets me. Okay, well, that's, that's her online reputation that she's welcome to put at stake. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so let's do a reset on this. Now, <clears throat> some of you guys are going to cry foul at this. But I was uh, very intentional in my choice of words and what I committed to do. I said I would not, I said I would commit to beating Super Mario Brothers for the NES. So not on the NES, I'm playing it on a Retron 5. Um, without using cheat codes. What I did not say is that I would do it without using save states. I am going to save state the crap out of this thing because that's the only way that I could possibly beat this game by the end of 2020. Um, I would not have the time <laughs> that would need to be dedicated to truly master this game, playing it through as was done classically without save states. So uh, I can imagine some of you saying, foul, foul, cheater, cheater. Well, that's fine. <laughs> I am a cheater. Uh, and I am uh, going to cheat by using save states, but they're not cheat codes. Um, so here we go. Set the timer for 15 minutes. That's all I'm going to spend during this live stream on this. The rest of my further attempts at finishing this game, um, I will record, not live, but post them in some way on, as I record them uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the year uh, on the Christian Geek Central YouTube channel. Um, so that you guys can see every moment that I spent trying to beat this game. All right, here we go. I wonder if Nintendo's going to come after me just for picking up on the uh, Super Mario theme. Now, what I'm planning on doing is uh, I, I just want to make sure that I have a good foundation of, of lives. Not going for points, because I, I mean, I don't think I can do the trick with the turtle hopping on the turtle head to get me points. Um, trying to remember where some of the one-ups are, I don't really remember. 
Oh, there we go, there's one. Mm -mm. I just want to try and get myself set up for success as much as possible. So if I can end this level with a fire flower and big, you know, big Mario fire flower and with, uh, with that life, then I'll be pretty happy. Ugh, gosh. I can't believe I'm doing this. Whatever. All right. Um, Francisca Rhee says, I only beat this for the first time this year as well. Congratulations. I don't know why you would put yourself through that if you weren't fundraising. <laughs> but congratulations nonetheless. Now there's a warp in here I want to use. Um, oh, you know what? Here, let me do this. I forgot to do this. I was going to save state at the end of every level. So, um, save state, save state. Okay. Good start to this level. Uh, I think it's around here. Isn't it? Or no, there's a there's like a some ladders at the end here that I can jump on too to get up there. Okay. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> okay. So, this is where it's going to start getting real. Jumping up, seeing a significant difficulty spike here. Ugh. These things. So far, so good. Francisco says, LOL, I put myself through that because I'm trying to beat all 30 games that come with the NES Mini for my streams. Unfortunately, stuck on the final boss of Punch-Out. <clears throat> yeah, I've heard that the final boss in Punch-Out is just notoriously difficult. Um, but again, I have to ask, why? <laughs> if you're not fundraising, why are you trying to beat all 30 of those games? Uh, Gabriel Stinson says, Go Pater, take Mario down. I too have never beat this game. Over time, Mario has lost favor with me. Unless it's the games I grew up uh, playing. New games don't interest me much. Yeah, ironically, in some of the newer games, as I understand it, they have kind of built in easier modes or cheat modes. I know that you can play maybe in some of them as Luigi and be invincible or something, or uh, there, there, there's some kind of options to help you get through some of these levels that I know my boys have taken advantage of. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, yeah. Uh, oh, so Aaron, hey! Aaron Huey, 
uh, our, uh, our current and usually every year uh, top fundraiser for the Christian Geek Central Extra Life team. Thank you so much for coming by and thank you for being a part of the team again this year. Um, and uh, uh, if you, if you want to get my attention a little more easily, at Christian Geek Central with no spaces in your message will highlight it in orange for me. Um, but great to see you. Um, all right, so let's save state. Save state! Let's see, we're on World 4, we'll use slot 4. Now, I can't remember if the pipe in here, I think this just takes you to, warps you to World 5. I think it's World 3 that has the, the thing that'll take me to World 8. So I don't think I'm supposed to take the pipe in this level. Just in case, I'll save state. And then we'll move this to a new save slot. Jeez. Uh, still on world four, so let's actually save here again. Go back to this one, turn the game. All right. I'm trying to stay as a uh, Fire Mario, but um, ironically, when I see pros do speed runs of this, they do it as small Mario, you know. And I think that there's some advantages to being small Mario because you're a smaller target. <clears throat> but I don't know that I will have the skill to really, oh, jeez, Louise, to really take advantage of that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I think it's here somewhere. All right. <clears throat> I just don't remember where. Uh, let's see here. I'm actually going to move to this slot. I can't remember if it's like an invisible block or what the deal is. It's not that. Ooh, jeez. I might have missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, no. Hmm. <clears throat> Uh, Aaron Huey says, uh, 
Uh, yeah, people at work have been buying a lot of candy. Um, yes, that's, that's Aaron's secret that he told me last year, is that like, he makes candy and then he uh, sells it at his work. Maybe, do you still do that throughout the year, Aaron? I think you told me once that you just do it throughout the year. And then at the end here, you just start depositing it into your, uh, your Extra Life fundraising. That's really cool. That's freaking commitment to, uh, to that organization. That's really cool, man. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Asher says, yes, he missed four warp pipes in 4-2. Four warp pipes? There's, they put four of them in there? Okay. So I need to go back to 4-2? I thought that there was just a single pipe in 4-2. It just, that would just take me to World 5. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to jump around in here for a little bit longer. I, I've got just over three minutes left on this game. But I've got a... But I've got a save state uh, from back in that world, so I can get back there. I thought there was one here. That took me to the, the series of pipes that'll take me to... That'll take me to 8-1. I mean, what I'll do, uh, once I'm, you know, making my attempts offline, is I will strategy guide the crap out of this, because I didn't say I was going to do it without strategy guides either. Right now, just dipping my toes in the water, seeing what I remember. But I am not going to spend any more time playing this game than I absolutely freaking have to, to fulfill the letter of the law of what I committed to. Frickin' forget the spirit of the law. Oh, jeez. This is not gonna happen for me. Nope. See, I still have to deal with dying. But at least I don't have to lose lives. That was cool. Let's pretend that I totally did that on purpose. Jeez. Oh, crap. Yeah. Uh. Roleplay Cafe says the invisible block that grows a vine to lead you to level 678 is back on level 4, I believe. Um. Like, you mean World 4? I'm in World 4 right now. Is it 4-1? Oh, shut it. 22 seconds left. That would have been terrible if I would have saved my state right there. Uh, well, let's go back. Oh, I don't have a snapshot there. Let me just confirm before I'm done here... ...what I believed to be the case. Yeah, it's just the one. Um, so this isn't the warp zone that I want. So I'll have to look it up. Um, uh, hey, Reed Benson. Um, 
Reed says, hey, Peter, my wife has a question. Since you're always playing video games, are you nearsighted? Um, I became nearsighted uh, in high school before I was really into video games all that much. I mean, I did play some, um, but it wasn't until after, uh, I mean, years after uh, I was nearsighted that I, that I started really getting into video games, so... Um, I don't know that there's a relationship for me between the two. I don't know if there's any studies that say that there, that there is, but I don't think that would be the cause for me. Oh, shut up with your speed music trying to stress me out. I'm done with you. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, I guess, if you want to see more of me hating this game. <laughs> In the coming weeks. Um, so... When's my wife coming? Oh, she's she's not coming till 11.30 my time, so that's still like 50 minutes away. Um, so now we have finished the uh, the milestones and stunts and donation uh, fulfillment requests and st request fulfillments. And now I get to have free play. I get to choose, I get to play what I want to play. And right now, I know I, I, know I put Spider-Man on... Uh, um, no, maybe I will play a little more Spider-Man. I want to get into... Um, Homefront the Revolution at some point. That's kind of like, I want to be sure I play that before I play Far Cry Blood Dragon, just in case I really love Blood Dragon. Because the two are both very Far Cry kind of games. Blood Dragon, obviously, is named Far Cry Blood Dragon. Homefront Revolution, um, certainly inspired by the gameplay mechanics of Far Cry. But uh, So I do want to get to that, but I've got Spider-Man minimized. Let's do some more Spider-Man. Okay. Don't want to lose track of time here, since Holly will be joining me in about uh, 40 minutes. <laughs> Francisco says, since you're free now, how about you help a brother out with some NMS coordinates? Okay, sure, Francisco. It's a dinosaur, dinosaur, spaceship, alien face, parachute, dinosaur, fishy looking thing. And then the rest, if there's any more after that, are dinosaur. Okay, have fun. <laughs> Electrical fire detected. Fire containment system offline. Incident response team required. Uh oh. Is this a cinematic? I'm not controlling anything. Oh wait, there we go. Ooh, what are those? Probably things that'll hurt me if I touch them. Interesting. Hey, what's your status? Me? Oh boy. Just trapped in a prison with every criminal I put away. Last <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. <laughs> All right. Lost you for a second there. Are you okay? Not really. Electro, Rhino, and now Scorpion are all on the loose. What's going on in the rest of the prison? The camera system's almost up. I'll give you a sit rest soon. Okay, I'll keep tracking Electro. Wow. Who's... Who was tingling me just now? That was weird. Why am I spider censoring? Oh. You know, much like the Batman game, you do look pretty cool sometimes, you know, even if you're just kind of hammering at, at buttons. Oh crap, my health is not great. How do I, uh... No, that's not it. 
Don't I have a health ability? I thought I had a health ability. All right. Come on, Spider-Man. I thought this was a chase. Gotta stop this guy. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Okay, it doesn't shock me. That's good to know. Oh boy. Uh. Oh boy. If you tell me who you're working for, I'll go easy on you! Ah! Nobody ever takes me up on that offer! <laughs> oh, gotcha! Oh crap. Vulture. Long time no see! We're going to have so much fun! Sorry, no time to talk! <laughs> Still with me, huh? Okay, I don't think oh, crap. Get out of the water, Spider-Man. Well, it looks like the entire population of the raft has escaped. Including Martin Lee. That makes five of your worst enemies that are now on the loose. <laughs> For a second there, I thought you were serious! I am serious. <laughs> Some of them are heading into the city. This is nuts. No! Well, I lost track of them. Yeah, see, that's the kind of stuff I don't like. Just to let Electro go and do things, and then let me deal with the ramifications of those things that he's done. I was holding the thing. This is nuts. Jeez, I did not know Electra could do that. Come on, go, Spidey. What are you doing? Electro, How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. Oh boy. Remember, he's fed not to kill him. Good idea. In fact, we don't have to do this at all. <laughs> he definitely wants to. I'm so glad this is a cutscene and not a fight I'm expected to pull off. <laughs> Yeah, that definitely looked bad.
Hmm. Each of you has a job to do. Your debts will be repaid when we're done. Go! That was great. There was a very subtle look of hesitation, possibly regret, in his face. That's great. And they also had rain, a drop go down the, one of his goggles that almost looked like a tear, which I don't think it was supposed to be a tear, but I, I think it was probably intentional to kind of give this sense of, of sadness and maybe regret. Um, that was great. That was great. This, uh, man, what I'm seeing of this game now is just uh, making me think, oh, yeah, I'm glad I got back into this. Just had to get past those... Two back-to-back -back stealth missions with MJ and Miles. Rugged Warrior says, had to beat this game on the ultimate difficulty for a trophy. Yeah, man, more power to you. I'm not that into trophies. Yeah, Francisco, you just keep putting in more dinosaurs, and then you're good. That's the rest of it. That'll get you to the uh, headquarters in No Man's Sky. All these years, all these lies, it's over, Norman. Time to give them the truth. Thanks for the tip, Gabriel. Um, I thought that I would keep my focus once I built it up, because I know I built it up. I typically never use it because I want to have that health ability when I need it, but maybe it kind of, I die out of having that focus built up, even if I don't use it. Because I was hitting down on the D-pad, I remembered that much, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's down on the D-pad, but... Yeah, this is cool, I really like what they're doing with the story and, and what I'm playing of the, of the game, and that story mission was cool. It, was not relying on totally different types of gameplay than what I typically do in the open world. That's the kind of story mission I want. It's exactly the kind of story mission I want. Gosh, I hope I don't end up really loving this game. Um, and then uh, not being able to enjoy the second one. You okay? Yeah, fine. Can you, uh, can you pass us out for me? Sure. Hmm, this thematically hits differently today, doesn't it? Heavily enforced by Sable International, who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret and unregulated Osborne laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Osborne Turn it off. and money on an anti-serum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm, this is exactly what I had hoped would happen with this and maybe some of my other games, too. That I uh, want to give a second chance to. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a ton going on here at Spirit Blade Productions and Christian Geek Central, including our in-depth Bible study for geeks, movie, game, and other entertainment reviews or commentary, live streams, Christian geek news, original audio dramas, and tons more. And on top of all that, you can become a Spirit Blade insider with an influential voice and get access to exclusive content and rewards. It's your involvement as a patron that will keep all of this going and growing. So I want to thank you for your consideration in that. For for more information, please check out our Patreon page through the link below at patreon.com slash spiritbladeproductions. Thanks for listening.